Hello and welcome to our channel where we explore the world of Odoo. This time we're adding commonly used codes to work with multiple models to our cheat module. If you're new to this channel, don't worry if some codes seem unfamiliar. Be sure to check out my previous videos as this tutorial builds upon the codes shared in those videos. You can find those videos on my channel page. Without further ado, let's get started. First, create a new Python file for the models and name it cheat underscore relation dot py. Remember to include this file in the directory's init file. If you're not feeling like typing any code right now, feel free to clone or download the code from my GitHub repository, the link is available in the video description. Next create three models. One for the main model, one for the line model, and one for times when we need to create instances of a model programmatically. Oda provides three types of relational fields to work with multiple models, one too many, many too one and many too many. As you can see here, we add each one of those fields to the models. Feel free to experiment with them after we finish. After all, one of our goals to create this cheat module is to have some kind of playground to experiment with Odoo. Now create a new XML file for the views and menus and name it cheat underscore relation underscore view dot XML. When creating a form view for both the main model and the line model, we simply use the main model for the view and declare the one too many field like the other fields for the line model. Then add this file to the manifest file. Also don't forget to set the access rights for these models. Next we're going to add codes to create and modify instances of the lines model. O to provide different mechanism to operate for one too many and many too many fields, the command class. Let's create three action method for the main model to demonstrate the command class usage. And also create three buttons to call the action methods. And to demonstrate creating instances of another model, create another method for the main model. But instead of regular action method, we define a method which is decorated with API.model. This means we're not interested with the instances of the main model. In our case, we only want to create an instance of another model, so we decorated this method with API.model. And this time, we're also using different way to trigger the process than the previous ones. We're going to add a button on the list view, instead of the form view. This technique is usually used when we want to execute process which are not tied to a particular instance of a model. Unlike the technique we used on the form view to add buttons, with list views, we need to add more codes instead of just adding button element on the view. To do this, add JS underscore class attribute to the main model list view as shown. Then create two files inside folder static slash views slash list, one JavaScript file and one XML file. Unlike the technique we used on the form view to add buttons, with list views, we need to extend default list view. And set the tree element to use it by specifying the JS underscore class attribute. Then we also need to create the view for the button. We use tionclick attribute which then will link to our custom list view. We only override the list controller and button template of the default list view to accommodate our buttons on click event. Since we need to call a method from the main model, we need to use ORM service and declare it on the setup function of our custom controller. And then we can call the, the main model method in the on button click event. Don't forget to add these files to the manifest file. Now let's try it. That concludes today's video, we'll explore more techniques and tools for Oda development in our next tutorial. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date on my experiments and tutorials.